What's going on everybody? It's Scott with G Reviews. Today taking a look at my Predator Vision. Just kidding. Uh, it's the FLIR. Uh, or more specifically the FLIR 1 for Android. And what you're looking at right now is a view through the FLIR uh, turned on uh, just to some various items I have on my desk uh, and that I haven't actually started up yet or uh, turned on. For example, I've got a candle over there. Obviously, that's not turned on. I've got a lighter in between there. I've got a hair dryer. Every once in a while, the, the flare will kind of stop. Uh, not necessarily stop, but uh, head off to refocus, so there might be a little bit of a delay there. Um, and then we've got a uh, the good old spotlight in one of the uh, other videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take you through the various items on and off. So you can actually see how accurate that uh, that temperature reading is. So it's reading this uh, this cat light right now at about 83 degrees. Obviously, you can see my hand, 93 degrees right on the uh, the top of my hand. Um, I mean, I would I've expected this light to be pretty extraordinarily accurate. Obviously, my fingertips are quite a bit less, especially my little pinky finger, it's so cold. Uh, but anyway, so let me go ahead and turn this light on. It might get a little uh, blurry, only because I'm turning on the really, really bright light. Um, but you should start to notice that the center of that bulb uh, should be getting a little bit hotter as the seconds roll by here. 83. Very, very slowly. 83.5, 83.8, right? And what I'll do is I'll kind of just set this off to the side and I'll just leave it turned on um, because by the end of the video, this the middle of this should get, you know, just as hot as my hand, if not even hotter. So we'll just kind of put that over here to the side for now. Next item we have is the hand dryer. So right now, obviously, it's turned off. Um, there's no heat yet, but I think, and I, well, I think what we'll notice very quickly um, is that this thing heats up really quick. Obviously, that's what it does, the hairdryer. So what we'll do is we'll put it on low first, and again, it's a fairly lit room, fairly well lit room. We'll go ahead and just turn it on low real quick. And again, I'll put the temperature right in the middle, actually right on the coils. So let's go turn it on. As you can see, I'm heating up the mat here. Even my mouse pad is getting hot, right? And I actually think my um, my battery backup for my computer is just going off because I plugged it in. I guess it's not used to. I guess it's not used to high. Uh, <laughs> this high of voltage. So as you can see, the thing's not even turned on anymore. Still reading about a little over 200 degrees at those coils, you know, and you can kind of just see that. We'll put that off to the side again. Uh, here we have a lighter. And again, you're like, what? why is this useful? Well, I think it's useful in a multiple of different ways. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put um, some pictures on the video at the end just to kind of show you the various practical applications. I'm a real estate agent. So uh, just inspecting properties kind of on an offhanded manner, right? So if I'm trying to look at insulation, if I'm trying to look at um, inefficient uh, water ducting, or if the AC is leaking out somewhere, I could actually see that if, you know, how much, how red those windows are, you know, the difference between uh, double insulated windows versus just singles, you know, things like that. And also it's obviously pretty dang cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start the lighter up here real quick. As you see very quickly, 147, 103 degrees right here. What about, so you can see that real quick. As you can see, the, the tip of the lighter is still warm. Pretty interesting, right? So I'm gonna put the candle here. Go ahead and light the candle. And you'll be able to see the temperature of that. 
So as you can see, right at that, uh, right at the flame, your it says just you know it says over 248 degrees because this thing only goes up to 248 degrees. Uh, so again, uh, that is what that'll do. So again, there's a lot of applications for it. I just think it was a pretty cool little investment. I'm gonna put the cap on the candle here. And that should go out in a second. Yep, put that over there. Uh, <laughs> this thing's still, uh, and you can see even where, where this, the tip of the lighter was just resting on my mouse pad. See, a little, uh, little warm spot right there. Warm spot over here from that. Even my handprint right on the mouse, mouse pad. It's pretty neat. I'm just coming back over to my light. Mm, LEDs don't get hot very quickly, but uh, you can see there's a little bit of a red orange circle there. But anyway, so those are the kind of just different items I wanted to show you there. Um, even this uh, hair dryer, still, still hot after a couple minutes of not using it. But regardless of that, I think it's a pretty cool, uh, it's a pretty cool little Pretty cool little product there. Um, it does work surprisingly well. Um, you can even see the difference between my LED monitor over here to the right, 88 degrees, and my LCD over here on the left, about 93, 90, 98 in its hottest spot over here, the LED. Let's see, hottest spots over here, 98, yeah, about the same. But overall, I think the LED is cooler overall than even the uh, the LCD monitor, uh, LCD backlit monitor. But anyway, um, this is Ben G Reviews. If you like this video, please like or subscribe it. That would be much appreciated and uh, we'll continue to put more, more good content on the channel. Appreciate the guys' time. Take care. Peace. Here's the case for the FLIR 1. Here are the two adapters for selfie and uh, going to the back. This is the front of the camera, top of the camera. And again, you see two lenses. One is the two megapixel lens. The other one is the heat. This is a picture of a AC vent with the AC on. You can see some hot spots in my roof. This is just the top of uh, a window. You can see it's hotter at the top. A mug with coffee, hot coffee in it. Back of my monitor with the back light. This is a uh, window from the outside. My house is hot. The window's cold from the AC. My window, my AC is working overtime here. Uh, road is hot. Cars are cold. My screwdriver or power drill. This is just me. Uh, revving up the power drill as you can see the motor is actually getting hotter the more I use it and you can actually start to see the transmission also warming up slightly if I was actually using it it would get a lot hotter but what's actually pretty cool is when you see when I let go of the thing you can see where my the heat from my hand was that's actually heating up the uh, handle as well but you can see the transmission heating up, the motor heating up, the more I use the thing. And then also down below, you notice that even where the battery connects is hot. This is hot water coming out of a faucet. When there, uh, Publix uh, frozen food section. So window, you can see it's colder. This is a leak in my AC ducts, useful for that. It's obviously a place in my roof where there's no insulation. You can see the top of my roof is colder than the beams. My roommate's dog Kalua inside of my computer. This is a ceiling fan on high. You can see the motor is very hot. Inside my computer. That's the graphics card, pretty hot. My hot water heater with the hot water coming out of the pipes there. It's my face! Pretty hot. Cold water. This is my shower head with hot water coming out of it, as you can see. The brakes and tires of my car are quite hot. I just drove it. Just a different shot of that. Kill 
Paradox? Just kidding. And last but not least, my hands on a flashlight.